Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to overclock an AMD based processor, so stay tuned. So guys, today we are going to overclock the Ryzen 9 3900X, a 12 core 24 thread processor, which is a beast of a processor. And uh, we had used this processor inside one of our builds that we did on this channel called the Project Hope. So in case you have missed out on that video, I'll put a link at the end of this video so that you guys can go and see that as well. Uh, so before we start uh, overclocking our system, there are a few things that you would want to do. Uh, the first thing is that you would want to uh, you know kind of uh, install your operating system and make sure that you have all the latest updates so for this video we are going to uh, use windows 10 as our operating system and i'm sure a lot of you would be using the same uh, the next thing you would want to do is you would want to make sure that your bios is also updated with the latest revision uh, from your motherboard manufacturer please make sure that you update your bios as well uh, the third thing that you would want to do is download a few softwares so i usually when i overclock my systems i primarily use two or three softwares uh, the first one is the hardware info 64 which is a monitoring software through which we are going to monitor the temperatures the voltages and the frequency of our cpu uh, both after and before overclocking and the next thing you would want to have is Cinebench R20 just to get a baseline score of uh, how your system would perform before overclocking and how it would perform after overclocking. Besides this, Cinebench R20 is again an excellent stress software. So that's going to stress your CPU and then in that case you would be able to know when you run the software you would be able to know the stability of your system. Uh, besides Cinebench R20, I would also uh, want you guys to go and download OCCT. OCCT again is a stress software. Uh, you can actually test your system stability by running the software for a good two to three hours. Now besides OCCT, there are also some other uh, kind of uh, stress test software like IDA64 Prime95 which you can also download. Uh, however, I am more comfortable using OCCT. So for this video, we are going to use OCCT only. So just to summarize, uh, before overclocking, what you would want to do is, the first thing is you would want to have an operating system installed on your system uh, with all the latest updates. You would want to update your motherboard's BIOS. And the third thing is you would want to download Hardware Info 64, Cinebench R20, and uh, OCCT. So these are the three things that you would require. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we should now just start overclocking. So guys, let's just start. All right, guys, now that we are inside Windows, before starting off with anything, I would like to tell you guys here is that the process that we are going to follow here can be used for overclocking virtually most of the AMD Ryzen based CPUs. So the first thing what we are going to do here is we are going to open up Hardware Info 64 and we are going to see how exactly our system is performing. So let's just quickly see here we are using somewhere about 1.43 volts and as low as 1.1 volt here and the frequencies that we are running at is about 3.7 gigahertz uh, to an average of 4.3 gigahertz let's just quickly come down and see what are the temperatures like so we are hovering at about 50 52 degrees centigrade uh, okay so now that we know that uh, what voltages what temperatures and what frequency are we running before uh, overclocking our system we can actually first just quickly run Cinebench also here and see what scores do we get because once we get the score and once we overclock we can actually compare both of them and see how much well is uh, how much better our system is performing after overclocking so while this test is running I would also like to go into hardware info 64 quickly here and see uh, the voltages and the temperatures also so here we are at somewhere about 78 79 degrees um, with respect to the frequency we are running at about 4 gigahertz here and we're using about 1.21 1.22 volts here okay so now that we know that how much frequ what frequency are we running at how much voltage is it consuming and what are the temperatures after overclocking we can actually do a comparative analysis as to by running our system at a higher frequency how well are we performing 
so here we can see uh, our points are I think 6830 here all right so now what we want to do is we would want to go into the BIOS and overclock however before going into the BIOS there's another way of overclocking your system which is the easiest way and that is by going to AMD Ryzen Master you can download the software from AMD's official website so what you would want to do is after you download this you would just want to open the software and uh, you would want to come down to one of your profiles uh, click on manual and uh, here it's green right now but probably when you download the system for the first time you would have a red symbol like this just go and click on that uh, it would make it green which would mean that all your cores here are synchronized for its speed so for example it's 4100 here if i write 4000 here all my cores would then go back to 4000 megahertz so after i select or i input my frequency here i'm going to change my voltage once i change my voltage i would want to go and apply and test this once uh, i click apply and test the software is going to run some kind of a stress test on the cpu and if it passes it would show you that it has passed the test now after you see that uh, uh, after you see that notification you can actually go back to your cinebench r20 and carry on the test once again to see the stability of your system however because this is the ev way we are not going to go and overclock our system this way we are going to go into the bios and from there we are going to overclock so guys stay tuned i'll be back with you guys once i get into the bios so guys now that we are inside the bios the first thing i would want to go and check is my ram frequency and that is 2133 here but i know my ram uh, ram's rated speed is 3200 megahertz so i would want to first get that speed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to activate my docp profile now docp is exactly the same as xmp for the intel side so once i select this i'm quickly going to go and save this and restart my system once again So guys now that we are back into the BIOS you can see here that our speed is now 3200 megahertz for the RAM uh, it was initially 2133 we just activated the DOCP profile the next thing I would want to do is I want to just quickly check this backlog frequency if it is anything other than 100 you would want to change it to 100 uh, you can just type 100 here and that's it uh, then you would want to come down to CPU core ratio. This is the frequency at which you want your system to run at. So for example, I want my system to run at 4.2 gigahertz. So I'm going to type 42 here. I'm going to come down. I'm not going to touch these uh, values. Uh, I'm going to go to external DG plus power control. Uh, CPU load line calibration is the first thing we are going to change here. We are going to put it to level 3. CPU current capability, you can leave it on auto. However, for demo purposes, I'm going to go to 120%. Uh, CPU power phase control, I'm going to change it to extreme. Uh, now, after I do this, I want to go back to my home page and uh, i want to change these voltages so guys please remember overclocking is all about getting your frequencies and your voltages correct do not be too aggressive on your voltages as well as your frequency the maximum voltage that you would like to give it to your cpu uh, is about 1.4 volts anything above that even 1.405 or 1.41 might damage your cpu because it would generate additional heat so what we are going to do here is we are going to select manual because we are going to uh, like specify the voltage here we are going to specify 1.265 okay it goes to 1.26875 nevertheless it doesn't matter uh, we soc voltage we are going to select again manual and we are going to enter 1.1 uh, the next thing you want to check here is the DRAM voltage. If it is anything other than 1.35 volts, you would want to probably manually input 1.35 here. Uh, VDD CCD voltage control, I want this value to be at 1.05. Now guys, uh, this value, the SOC voltage and the <coughs> CCD voltage, uh, you would want these two to have a difference of 0.05 millivolts. So CCD voltage should be about 0.05 millivolts less than your SOC voltage. So after you do this, the next thing you want to do is you want to quickly go and search for sense me. Uh, 
Okay. So once you get sense me, you would want to enable that. And once you have enabled that, uh, there's nothing more you would want to do here. You would want to save your changes and restart your system. All right, guys. So now that we are back into the windows, the first thing that we would want to do is we would want to open hardware info 64. Uh, so let's just quickly see our voltages are 1.1 volt. Uh, our frequencies are 4.2 gigahertz. That's absolutely fine. And our, our temperatures are, I think, 59.156. That might come down. Okay, so we are about idling about 50 degrees. Okay, so next thing what we want to do is we would want to run Cinebench and see what scores do we get this time. So let's just quickly run this. And as we run this software, let's just also quickly monitor our temperatures. So we have come as high as 83 now and uh, our cores are effectively all running at 4.2 gigahertz and we are utilizing about 1.038 volts uh, so this is absolutely fine no worries whatsoever um, this is what we want our system to behave like and let's just quickly finish this test and see what scores do we get however I just want to tell you guys uh, you should run this uh, test at least three to four times or two to three times minimum after you overclock your system in order to get a stability uh, in order to check stability of your system so as you can see now we have 7327 points which is about uh, 500 points higher than the score that we got before overclocking so this has actually stressed our system stressed our cpu and our cpu held up pretty fine so the next thing what I would want to do is I would want to go and run OCCT. Now this software is basically a software which is going to stress your CPU to the maximum and you would want to run this software for a good two to three hours in order to uh, be absolutely sure that your system is stable. So once you are inside this software, the first thing that you would want to do is you would want to check your CPU's temperature. Uh, after that, go to test schedule, uh, go and select infinite. Uh, for test configuration, I would select OCCT and I would select the mode to be the medium data set. After I select this, I'm just going to press the start button and I would uh, run this test for two to three hours. Once I've run this test for two to three hours and there's been no crashes, I can be absolutely sure that my system is fine. However, if you are not comfortable using OCCT, there are other tests like Prime95 or IDA64, whichever you feel like using, you may go and use them. However, I feel that OCCT is uh, more accurate in that sense. I've never had problems with this software. And every time uh, my test has passed OCCT, I can be, I have been absolutely sure that my system is stable. So in case your system crashes, you would want to go back to the BIOS and lower down your voltages or maybe just lower down your frequency. In either case, you might want to change one at a time. So if you are lowering your frequency, do not lower your voltage and see if your system is stable at a lower frequency. If your system is stable at a lower frequency, you might then want to come down on your voltages. So guys, um, this is how you overclock an AMD based processor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, press that like button. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. It would mean a world to us. And uh, this is it for this time, guys. It's Sajeev signing off. Until next time, it's goodbye from Sajeev. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. Bye-bye.